Hey guys, welcome back to another video about this 1990 Yamaha XV1100 Virago. Uh, today we're going to be diagnosing what it needs, what parts are broken, and what I need to order uh, just so we can get this build rolling. I do have my phone here to keep a list, to keep track of what I need to order so I can order it straight from my phone. I don't have the key or the ignition that I ordered yet, so um, that's on the way. So we can't really do too much with the electronics and the wiring, um, and we can't really test that to make sure it all works. But we can order stuff that's clearly broken. So, let's get to it. Let's create a list. I lifted the seat and we have some nice 240 grit sandpaper here. All right, I know we only just started, but bear with me. This is the, fr I opened the compartment trying to pull out this lamp and speaker wiring. And I opened this thing up and I found a big jumbled mess of who knows frickin' what, and the stock wiring harness was literally, the whole connector was clipped off. And then one wire here goes into some speaker wiring, which is sketchily attached to who knows what. What are they even doing here? And then it runs, the taillight runs through here into a freaking lamp switch, and that freaking lamp switch runs what appears to run into the battery area somewhere. No freaking clue. <laughs> I have so many questions. Here. Um, last thing I was gonna check was the spark plugs and they are definitely a little bit old I'm sure I could clean them up and whatnot, but something I want to do is just replace the spark plugs. I always like to just give um, Like the engines a fresh start um, New oil new spark plugs if it has coolant new coolant like the CX 500 did But yeah, and these are so cheap. These are like four dollars for two. All right, so about as sketchy as I figured it would be um there's a lot of stuff that I was just like, what? <laughs> it was kind of, yeah, it was bad. It was bad. There was lamp wire, speaker wire everywhere. Couldn't even get the lamp wire out yet. And the battery tray is broken, so it's getting, it's hard to pull out the battery. So I'll do that next time. All the mechanics actually look fine. Um, the engine, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, there's a lot of DIY wiring and stuff, but that was pretty much the only really sketchy thing that was, that was up with this bike. Um, so here's the list. Here's what I got. So first of all, tank with a question mark. The tank has some rust in it. The cap is not good. I, uh, you can buy these for about $12, so I might just replace this and clean the tank up and then paint it and all that good stuff. But that's a question mark. When I head over to the salvage yard, the motorcycle salvage yard, and if there's a good deal on a good condition tank, I might just pick it up, but who knows. All right, so I'll need a solenoid, the starter solenoid. Um, it's just in very rough shape, so I'm just gonna grab a new one. Um, the cover is good though, so I can reuse that. Just the solenoid is what I need. Uh, handlebars, of course, for the bobber look. I need a bobber seat. I need a new battery. I'm sure this one's been sitting far too long and it just looks old, so I'm gonna replace it. Um, both side covers. Um, I want the stock side covers. I don't plan to open this up at all. I'm just gonna put the stock side covers on it. I need spark plugs. I need a bolt for the highway bars on the left side. Um, when he took the spill, I'm assuming one of the bolts, it couldn't actually, no, it couldn't have fallen out. He must have unscrewed it and then forgot to stick it back in. So there's a bolt missing that makes the whole thing loose on the left side. And that's what is making it shift kind of hard is it so loose. Um, so I need a new bolt <laughs> for the highway bars. So um, I'm gonna replace mufflers. He clearly drilled these out too, so it's probably really stupid loud. Um, I might just replace the whole exhaust system if I can find a good one, or I might just replace the mufflers so it's not stupid loud and blows your ears out. Uh, I'm gonna need new foot pegs, both sides, they are bent. I'm gonna get new air boxes for both sides. Um, I think the stock air box is actually on over there. I'm not sure how this works, but I'm definitely gonna get a new, um, at least a new air filter. I don't know if I'll go back to stock or not. That is uh, to be determined. I also need new mirrors. Of course, these ones are like freaking Deadpool's arms when he breaks both of them. And then of course, you can replace the grips and the levers when I get the new uh, drag bars for this so it's a little bit lower and more straight. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool look. And I think I'm gonna grab the, the set of levers and brake reservoir cylinder and all that 
um, from Amazon, the one I used for the CX500. Those were really nice and they're only $30 for a set of levers and the master cylinder. I'm going to need a new battery tray. This one is clearly broken. Um, so I'm just going to grab a new battery tray and I'm going to need brake pads. This one's on the end of its life. I do need to figure this out still too. There's still stuff to do on this and figure out what else I need. But for now, I'm just going to replace everything that I see it needs. And so, but we will need brake pads for both. I'm just going to do both. They're not that expensive. So yeah, that's what I have on my list. So it's about as sketchy as I figured it would be, but there's not that much stuff that needs to be replaced. So I'll get all this stuff ordered, get the good content on the way. This was a quick episode. More videos coming soon. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe button if you guys want to see more of this build. Again, this is a 1990 Yamaha Virago XV1100, and I'm going to be turning it into a bobber. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video.